guys welcome back to my youtube channel frida k here if you're new to this channel welcome so much and please don't forget to subscribe and to my followers welcome back so on today's video it's simply what i ate for dinner for a week and um i'll be showing you all the meals that i prepped for a week and i hope that you stay tuned and enjoy the video <music> So on to my first meal, I'm simply preparing some ugali and um, meat stew and some greens on the side and the first thing I'm doing is simply preparing my ingredients. I'm going to chop everything, um, my carrots, my tomatoes, onions and even I'll chop um, the greens. So I won't be talking much because everything is straightforward. So I'll just leave you to enjoy the music. Secrets, but you tell me stupid lies. Oh, you think you can escape now and got it all just figured out? You can fake it through the ceiling to the rooftops.
so i'll first um boil my meat and to boil my meat i'll add in my carrots and some salt and um, some little oil and i'll let my meat to boil for 10 minutes as my meat is boiling i'm going to make my ugali and onto my boiling water i've added um my blue band like half a teaspoon and then i'll just continue making my ugali as i need for my meat to cook So our meat has already boiled and I'll go ahead um, to deep fry it. I simply want to make beef stew so I'm going to fry it and the only things that I'm using um, I think I'll put them on the screen all the spices I'm using so as I can avoid talking too much so everything that I'm going to use I'll put it on the screen for you to know. After putting my potatoes, I'm simply adding my broth and I'll cover it to for, so as I can let my potatoes to cook like 5 minutes as I make um, my greens and I'm using my pressure cooker to make my greens and I'm also using um, the same sufuria that I used to burn my meat and for my greens, I'm only using um, my Mm, two onions and I will I'll just fry them a bit I won't let them 
um, fry until they turn golden brown. I'll just simmer them for like two minutes and then add my greens and that's it. <laughs> how my meat turned out it was so delicious so yummy but um, i'm going to serve it and enjoy but you tell me stupid lies oh you think you can escape now and got it all just figured out you can fake it through the ceiling to the rooftops while I'm leaving You're my greatest mistake Greatest mistake So on day two, I simply made mukimo, and to make my mukimo, um, I have githeri, but simply a mixture of beans and maize. I have some um, onions, some crushed um, ginger and garlic, potatoes, and my greens, and these are the only requirements I need to make my mukimo. So to make my mokimo, I'll first add in my potatoes before adding anything else and then I'll add um, my githeri being the next one. By then many people don't make their mokimo this way but I prefer this way. It's the easiest way to make your mokimo and then I'll add my greens on top of my githeri that is my
chopped onions and um, I'll just fry them a little bit simmer them a little bit and then add my carrots and my cabbage and let it cook for like three to four minutes and that's it <laughs> So guys our mokimo is ready as you can see it turned out so good so nice i would highly recommend that you try this method this is my method uh, i learned that so many people don't use this method they first um boil the potatoes then they mash the potatoes then they later add the gizeri and mix everything but this is my way so the next thing i'm going to mash everything and our mokimo will be ready I know many people will ask me where I take all this food but when I prep dinner, I prep dinner plus my lunch, my next day lunch so the remaining dinner I take it for lunch and that's it and also this mokimo I took it for breakfast so this is how our mokimo turned out and our meat still turned out and let's have and enjoy to my third day i simply made um rice and some cereals that's basically kamande uh, and i decided to boil some white rice and to boil my rice i added water salt and some cooking oil and then i cooked it for 10 minutes and that was it <laughs> So guys i had made a video on how i had prepared my kamande but when i was editing i didn't find the video so you'll pardon me for that but if you're interested to know how i made my kamande you can let me know on the comment section and i'll do that video for you so let's serve our dinner <music> Oh, you think you can't 
to my fourth day i decided to make um ugali and fried eggs so first of all we'll make our ugali and let it cook for about um five minutes So guys to make my eggs i'm going to add in my onions kindly make sure you put enough onions and um don't put a lot of oil yes and then i'll just use tomatoes only and i'll add my eggs i'm not a um, spice person i don't like spices unless i like choosing natural Spices like um, the ho ho, the dania. I don't like the powder spices. So if you are you like spices, you can add them at this point before adding your eggs. guys our eggs are ready and i'll proceed um to make my cabbage i decided to make some cabbage on the side so as i can have it with garlic and to make my cabbage is simple i'll just fry my onions and i'll add the cabbage and the carrots and i let them simmer for about two to three to four minutes and that's it <music> this is how everything turned out it turned the eggs turned out nice the cabbage was lovely you can see the color it was so so nice so i had this for day four for my dinner and i'm going to serve and enjoy <laughs>
so guys on today five um i decided to make some chapels uh during that week i had um stayed without making chap for a long without making chapels so i decided let me just make some chapatis and by the way i have made um how i make my chapatis i have made a video so if you haven't watched kindly i'll leave the link on the description box you can go and check it out you can see how i make my chapatis the whole recipe is there so let's make some chapel <music> be having my chapatis with dengu and to make my dengu i think um to avoid talking too much i'll put everything i'll indicate everything on the screen on whatever i use to make my dengu so kindly enjoy the music <laughs> everything turned out the chapatis turned out well the dangles turned out well also so if um don't forget to go and check my video on how i make my chapels they are really soft and they were super super yummy so i'm going to enjoy this so on day six simply my last day i decided to make um some yellow beans and rice i had really missed having this and first of all i'm going to boil my beans for 15 minutes and then i'm going to fry everything <music> after my onions have cooked i'm going to add in my tomatoes my green capsicum and then i'll add my carrots and at this point if you like spices you can add them at this point i'm not a spice person the only thing i'm going to add into the food is two royco cubes and that's it and then i'll later on add my beans 
and finally i'll add my rice and add some water and let it cook for like 12 minutes Guys, there is a mistake that I did. I added a liter of water and my rice was soaky. So I was supposed to add like half a liter and I added a lot of water. So please pardon me for that. Don't judge me. Every we are human beings and everybody makes mistakes. So my rice was soaky. And please, if you have to cook with the pressure cooker, don't be adding a lot of water because your meals will be soaking. Spite of my rice have turned having turned out like that i enjoyed it was delicious the only thing that i missed was an avocado but the rice was so yummy and i enjoyed it so this was it for my last meal so guys this was it for this video i hope that you enjoyed you have grabbed some tips on what you can make for dinner and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and guys let's see you on my next video bye